Hi Taurus, welcome to Kiwis and Tarot. My name is Ruth and I'm your Reiki Master and Tarot Reader. This is your general bi-weekly reading for the dates between now and the end of September and the 5th of October. The first three cards are going to be for September and the next three cards are going to relate to the time in between the 1st and October the 5th. Okay, so I don't know why that was so difficult for me to say. Um, <laughs> um, it's not going to be a love reading, this one. Um, your September love readings are still available to view on my channel right now, my darlings, as is my September astrology videos uh, as well. And I must say that they are my favourite videos so far. Um, I really do like them. People, they've gone down really well, but I really loved filming them. Um, they are fabulous, I think, personally, darling. So check those out if you haven't already, okay? Um why i think we need to get started we need to get started taurus what's going on taurus i feel i love you taurus you know i love you you know that i love you and i don't want to be repeating myself today that's all i'm going to say because <laughs> i hope you oh let's have a look this is the universal energy or what the universe is trying to teach you at this time, okay? And that is the Knight of Cups, okay? This is good. We've got some movement, okay? The next card is... Why do you do this to me, Taurus? It's these two, actually. Um, they, these two cards relate to what is coming towards you or your potential challenge um, between now and the end of, sept and the end of September. And the next card is off the top and wow there's some heat um the next card is your outcome and experience okay um so in the end of september um and these are for october i keep them face down not for suspense just so that, that i don't get distracted by the energies because i do read intuitively and i connect with the energy as i always say um taurus Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Let's have a look, shall we, darlings? Um, there's a few more. There's that one wants to come out for sure. Um, we'll go. We'll 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 pull as we go anywhere. Okay. So the universe is trying to teach you between the time of now, between now and the end of September, is this Knight of Cups. This is this is you going towards somebody to apologize, asking somebody out. Um, telling somebody how you feel about them this is what you are encouraged to do this month if it's to do with work because I'm not trying to relate it to love um, if it's to do with work then this is you going in a direction towards something that you feel good about happy about that makes you feel good about yourself so if you're making decisions about um, doing something in work, making a change in work, in your working life, in your career, then this is really saying to you, between now and the end of September, you have to move in that direction. Remember the masculine energies, all the masculine energies in the card are about action, are about moving, okay? And obviously this is to do with love because it's a cup, so moving in the direction that you love moving toward the direction okay so for some of you as i said that might be an apology this is for that um this is the card that wanted to come out so let's have a look the tower okay so this is a change for you this is this is going to be a change for you and it's almost like saying i think the universe feels like me <laughs> or i feel like the universe i share the universe's feeling in that something needs to you need to there's something you need to do that you've not been doing taurus and listen, I get a lot of people who cross-watch Taurus's videos and say, oh yeah, you know, I'm dating a Taurus or we're on a break and blah, blah, blah. And, he's, and she's not said this and I'm not. I get a lot of that. Listen, this month, <laughs> this month, Taurus, you are going to do, something's going to happen. And it might be a, a shock to the system. It might not be something that you plan. You might not plan to give this apology. You might not plan to tell someone how you feel. You might not plan to move in the direction, um, move towards something in work that you love, but something's going to happen that's going to make that happen. Something's going to occur that's going to make that happen toward the end of September, whether that's a surprise meeting, you know, uh, or whether that's... Um, no, I don't want to create any dramas here, but for example, being made redundant um, or being offered a new job, for example, in, in a dream job, um, an, opp an opportunity or something. So something's going to happen this month. 
Um, these are the next two, and this is the, the challenge, or the, um, oh gosh, these, these could be nice cards. This could be a love read. This is going to turn into a love read, and I can feel it already. Um, these are the two cards. What is coming towards you, or your potential challenge? Towards, and I, what did I just say? What did I just say? I'm laughing because I knew this was going to be a lot. I could feel it. If that second, if, not, if behind this is a two of cups, I'm giving up. I tell you. No, it's a, oh, they're good cards though, Taurus, aren't they? I'm going to take your thumbnail so you can see this on the thumbnail. Did that take? I hope that took. Um, anyway, so um, this is... <laughs> right, I'm going to just... I have to just say it as it is. Taurus, I have to say as it is, yeah. What I'm gonna I'm gonna swear. No, I'm not. I'm gonna half swear. What the feck are F E C K are you doing? I I know what you're doing. You're doing nothing. Either you're doing nothing or the other person's doing nothing. And you should be doing something. Taurus. <laughs> That you got off lightly there, Taurus. You got off lightly. This is a victory card. The six of wands is fabulous. This is victory. This is, the five of wands is challenge. The five of wands is what needs to change. What changes do you need to go through? What is no longer serving you? What is holding you back? You know, who's getting in your way? That's what the five is. So the six is overcoming that. The six is overcoming those challenges. The six is overcoming the, the oh, you know, I, I like him, but my friends don't like him, so I'm not going to go with him. That's overcoming that rubbish that doesn't mean anything. It's all stuff that's just there to, to teach you go in the direction that you want to go in. Go towards what you feel. Respond to how you're feeling. And apparently you do, and you apparently you... Well, not necessarily... Not, excuse me. Not necessarily that you do. This is the challenge or what's coming towards you. So this is saying that if you do this, if you... Um, the universe is teaching you, you've got to make... A, an amends, an apology, um, you've got to do that or you've got to move jobs, for example, or move in a direction or hone the, the offerings at work if you have your own business, for example, in a way, look at that, in a way, 333, three, three, I'll tell you what that means in a minute, in a way that suits you, okay? The, the a three is a master number. It's what we call a master number, okay? And it's related to the ascended masters like Buddha, like Makao Yasui, the Reiki founder, uh, like all those beautiful souls that went before us that are trying to teach us something. Whenever we see a three, it's a universe saying, it's a universe shining a light on an area, on a situation. So in this instance, it seems like there is something in your work life, but it's it's pretend probably love, even though I didn't want it to be love reading. Um, it's saying the universe is shining a light for you when we see 333. And when we see these type of energies, it's saying <laughs> like the tower, you know, you might be shocked, you might be afraid, but you and you might be worried or you might be concerned, you might have been challenged. However, that was what the universe needed you to experience in order that you can claim this victory, in order that you can claim this six of cups okay at uh, this ace of cups okay ace of cups is a new emotional beginning it's a card of happiness it's a card of love and actually a very similar um experience energetically to the tower card okay um it's a very so this could be someone telling you that they love you or you telling them that that you love them out of the blue unexpectedly um and if you do that, it's going to be something that you are happy about it's going to be something that that leads to victory that leads to balance and harmony and understanding okay so that's beautiful um but that's something that as i said some of you are being you find challenging to move in that direction that you're passionate about okay um finally for september we've got this card here which is your outcome or experience okay wow oh my gosh taurus Look at this card, four of four of wands. You know, this is a this is fours are about our foundations, our security, the structures within our lives. Wand energy is about our um passions, our motivations, um, the things that make us feel excited, our imagination, our creativity. Okay. And this is saying that you can have, even if it seems like a dream, it's it it seems too good to be true she's too perfect for me he's too perfect for me you know this job is too perfect for me you know this opportunity is too perfect for me you know 
even if you feel like that, there's security there. This is something that you can really build on. This is something that you can build your life on and, and you can move through your life, continue going through your life in this direction with this being your foundation. Yeah, it is. it feels like it's too good to be true, but it's not. It's got real longevity. It's got real security. Real happiness, real passion. Oh, Taurus. I mean, I think, that, I mean, I felt it, this this holding back, this four of pentacle energy from you, not from you as an individual, but it's just because of the cycle, that, that, that just because of the, astro the astrology that's been affecting your sign, i.e. Taurus, your sun sign, this um, this year. Um, and and next year, you know, you're in that in that place of this, last, this year, last year, this year, and next year, that three year cycle, or oh, three, 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 <laughs> that three year cycle for you, you're in, you're in the middle of it at the moment. And it, it's been a challenge for you. And I feel like you've, not that you've been holding back because that's what's been appropriate, but now it's a case of right, move forward. And the universe is going to encourage that. And the universe is going to engineer that when we have the tower card as well, but it's going to look at it, all the cards are beautiful. This is really for love, but, but also it could be an opportunity that you love that you, that you want to embrace. Okay. So this is going into October now. Wow. Fabulous, darling. So it seems like some of you, this is what the universe wants to teach you at this time. So in October, the beginning of October, the universe is saying to you, it's about having a new start, a new world, a new beginning. You know, the world card is about a new, being in a new situation, the slates wiped clean. You know, if, if you felt inadequate before, if you felt not good enough, whether it be in work or relationships before, this is you not feeling like that anymore, feeling totally different, you know, recognizing your personal power, having this new beginning, having this new start, having this new, the beginning of this new cycle, this new karmic cycle. Um, you know, the universe, I mean, we've got, look at the, the, with the energies here at the beginning in this position, i.e. the universal energies, what the universe is trying to teach you at this time. These are both major arcana cards. So these are both cards on the karmic path, if you will, in a karmic cycle, the tower and the world card. So it, it, again, you're going to be going through things, experiencing things and, and try to align yourself and be mindful of how you feel at the beginning of um, October, having made these decisions in September, having gone in a, in a new direction, in a direction that you, that you, that you love and that you're passionate about. Recognize how, how it makes you feel the strength and the power um, and the confidence that should be embodied. This is the challenge, the, the work, you know. I think if, if, it, if it, as I said, it, it depends, relationship or, or a, a work situation, job situation, career situation, enterprise situation, whatever it is, this is something that you're passionate about that you love, that's, tr that's, that's, a, that's really a part of you, that's really a reflection of who you are. And it, it's going to take that time, that effort, that work. This is really positive, though. This is linked to your energy, Taurus. You're a worker. I'm a worker. I'm a Capricorn. You know, so I understand that that urge, that need to move forward and to, and to be a perfect, you know, to be good at something, you know, to want to be good at something, to put the effort in to be good at something, to have something be successful because of the effort that you put in. This is this card here. So that's a challenge or what's potentially a challenge or what's coming toward you. The work, if it's in a relationship, yeah, it might be hard to, if you've, if it's a, out of the blue, you know, to, to, to actually believe that you're worthy. That might be hard for you to believe that you're worthy, you know, to actually recognise that, yeah, this person really does love me. You might have been betrayed in the past, you know. You might have had bad experiences at work in the past with difficult bosses, difficult workmates, difficult co-workers. And you might be like, oh, my God, like, this is never, I'm, I don't know how, you know, is it going to be any different? Yes, it is going to be different this time. Look at this, look at these cards. It is going to be different. The energy is positive. The energy is about growth, about expansion, about beauty, about harmony. That's what these energies are all about, about love. And that takes work. I, I mean, in fact, today on Instagram, I put a little video about love, about doing the work. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, this is why you need to follow me, babe, you know, because I do these little extra things. <laughs> But um, but no, seriously though, um, it's about the work that we have to do. I always, I said in the video today that it's easy to be angry. It's easy to say, do you know what? I'm not going to bother. 
it's too difficult or you know he treated me badly poor me or she treat me, treated me badly poor me it's easy to say that it's hard to, it's harder to accept our role and responsibility in that and also what's hard is to accept that that experience was necessary because it got you here that's what I mean when and we mean we people who talk about these things that's what we mean by doing the work thinking in a different way a different perspective a different you know having a different um outlook on a situation recognizing that it's difficult for everybody all the time <laughs> and because we're all individually going through things um Okay, this is your outcome. Oh my word. <laughs> well, if we were under any doubt that this was a love reading, we can't be under any doubt no more, can we, darlings? I mean, if it's a really, if it's not, let's talk about work first for those people that are interested in work and career. Again, number six is a card of in itself. We've got another six here as well, haven't we? Number six is a card in itself of balance, of harmony. I mean, literally on the tree of life the number six the the sixth uh sphere on the tree of life is beauty and um love and harmony if you think about what beauty is it's about a recognition of it's about you accepting that you see something in that you see the value in something you recognize the value in something with the number six that's what brings balance it bring that's what brings the harmony so this is a card of harmony and a balance either in work or in love relationships um it, it, it it's usually we we say that it's a card of decision as well it can be a card of choices and but that's that's what life is every single day it's a it's a, it's a choice it is a decision to accept this is how i really feel this is what i really think this is what i really want this is what my dreams are this is this this is this is why i'm unhappy this is why i am happy whatever it is it's a, we're always making choices every single day it doesn't feel like a choice this feels like this is an outcome and as well it's below <laughs> the four of one so those cross watchers and i know who you are because you talk to me you, you comment on the videos <laughs> and you tell me that you're the you know that you're dating a taurus or or you blah 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 uh, those cross watchers you might be feeling extremely excited to see this Tori, taurus yourself if you're in a separation in a love uh, situation and you're in a separation with somebody you might be in, ex excited to see this but the thing that you need to still recognise is the work that needs to happen, the effort, that not even effort, the the movement. And and really, I, I really feel like there's going to be no stopping it this month, you know, in September to what, you know, between the time, the time between now and the, and the end of September, the universe is, is really going to engineer a new beginning that's going to lead to this balance. And as I said, when you get, you know, we, it's about reflecting also on that realizing that things have changed completely transformed not changed transformed completely with the world card and that's something that you can work on and you can be happy about i mean seriously you can really achieve beauty and balance and in love and if it if it's related to work or if it's relating to a situation that you're facing this is then um you know, this is what we, we can get to, okay, by the 5th of October. So I really hope, Taurus, that this resonates with you. Um, I know that I'm going to be getting a lot of comments from the crosswatchers. <laughs> but seriously, try to move in that direction. Try to, if you need to make an apology to somebody or accept an apology, but this feels like you moving because if it was the queen i would i would say maybe you're in a receipt of apology because the queen queens are passive they listen to what's within they listen to their emotions and again potentially listen to an apology in this instant with it being masculine energy masculine is about movement it's about going in a direction so this is why i'm saying it's you going towards somebody else taurus so you know go for it taurus please go for it okay that's tiny barking if you can hear him Tiny always tiny agrees, obviously, clearly. Okay, Taurus, thank you so much for being here. If you would like a um 
private reading, it is keywisdomtarot at gmail.com. Remember to subscribe to my channel because I will be posting some extra little videos about meditation and a pick of card reading uploaded at some point um, in September as well. Okay, my lovelies, have a fabulous um, few weeks and I'll see you all again soon. Take care, my darlings. Bye.